Vicky Samson joins the team here. Vicky, let me start with that note. The that note? It's, it's still uh, there? Though it would seem. Yes, mm, mm, still there. Mm, mm, it's a blessing. Mm, mm. I, can't, I can't tell you. I tell don't know how I do it. Tell me about the song. Um, you, it was on your album, right? Yes. Before that. So this was your song. The album was just released like um, about four months prior to the African Cup of Nations. And so African Dream had just had exposure nationally for, for that period of time. So I was blown away when I was asked, Vicky, would you come and perform at the opening and closing ceremonies of the AFCON? Because um, the song had not really done its time. Uh. And it's only now, 20 years later, that I am still living the African dream. And what a blessing, you know. It was so powerful. I mean, <laughs> I, you guys were there. Yeah. That opening ceremony, you heard it. What did you think? Skipper. Couldn't hear anything from the change room. <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> you couldn't hear. But I mean, knowing me, knowing you, <laughs> Neil was just saying now, you know, we, Castle really, really got behind us. And yeah. we really wanted to say thank you to them, but thank you really, because they gave us so many cases of beer yeah. to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, no, they got you really behind us, and I'm they, grateful they, for You what know what, you're giving the complete <laughs> wrong impression <laughs> but here. Uh, I know, I but I do admit the right, that. The right impression is, I'll tell you what, exactly like the guys will say, is that on the field, we died for each other. Yeah. We died for our coach. Off the field, we did exactly the same. We drank <laughs> as much as we could. We stuck, we told stories. We, 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 were, we were a team that- We stole, all, we stole Mark Williams' teeth. <laughs> oh yes, no. they got lost. <laughs> and Mark by you ask Lynn Bingen what his job was, his job. Mark was Williams had false teeth, his, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and the first time I saw it, I never knew that he took mm -hmm. his teeth out. So when he scored the, the second goal in the opening <coughs> game, I ran towards him. And he turned around and I said, no, this is not happening. So I ran away from him and he chased me to celebrate the goal. So that was it. But did you ask, you ask Lynn Binken what was his job? Why didn't he play with his teeth, Lindo? I I keep in it? I well, I, I'm, I'm not quite sure because he's from Cape Town. <laughs> and as you know... Oh, this is you, Vicky. Yeah, you're no, from no, Cape Town. What do they say about Cape Townians? Yeah, I don't know, man. You they can go the to fish. the airport. You'll find that all of them, they're the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll never forget... Uh, the one time when we were in a hotel and it was, we, we slipped into his room and you know, Mark put his teeth in the, in the, in the jar, you know? And <laughs> so we, we stole his teeth and we, let, and we kept them the whole night. So when he went down to breakfast the next morning, he couldn't have any solids to eat. <laughs> okay. Okay. While we're talking about Mark Williams, <laughs> Mark Williams also did something else. And I think we have a little bit of the footage of the goals that he uh, did put together for us in the final. Because as much as you guys are having a, a, a laugh about him, he did come in, 63rd minute of the game. He did come in and uh, uh, then get those goals. The passer, one was from uh, Dr. Kumalo. He, he made the difference. So I know you're ripping him off, but let's talk about these. Uh, here it was. It's the final. It's Tunisia. It's nil-nil. And I hear at some point that he said he moved to the edge of the bench. He wanted the coach to notice him. The but crowd that, was saying free Willie. That story only Willie can, Willie can tell that he story. He said, did the crowd free really, Willie. did they really say no, free Willie? No, we Willy? don't know, but I think no. it's good when he tells it. But only he can tell that story. And, and eventually Clive obviously gave in and put him on and he scored two uh, There's the pass from goals. Dark. This is a missed kick. It's a great goal, though, but that's a missed kick. <laughs> um, listen, we were, we were just destined to, to, we, to win, you know? But, um, that the the semi-final, our final was yeah. the semi-final yeah. against Ghana. And once we went into the final, it, it, yeah. was, it was a given. Mark, it's yeah, Mark is also talking, telling the story that Clive went down the bench and he was at the end and he tripped Clive. But uh, I don't know, he's told so many stories, I think he's forgotten what the first story was. Like. Uh. Let's uh, bring in uh, the rest of the crew to say goodnight and get a final word from the players and Vicky Sampson. And there's a cake coming in. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, this yes. is Sport at 10 style. This yes. is Sport at 10 style. Yes. Doc, uh, uh -huh. Glenn, if you can make your way to the back here. Yeah. It's a Bafana Bafana jersey. Let's number get the nice nine. camera number shot nine. over the top oh, there huh? with the number nine on it with the 20 candles. Oh, that is awesome, guys. Tom, I just want to say something quickly. Yeah. Today, it would have been the 45th birthday of Sheikh Skungwane, also played for Bafana, mm. also worked with us here at SABC. Shaga, shaga. 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 There's people who want to know, nickname, Mercedes-Benz, where from? Well, it's got two myths on, on it. Um, I love Baka gave me, and it was because of uh, the me that was actually criticizing our team. And of course, they wanted to destroy the team, but he came up 
and some of the media people they said why can why shouldn't that be on the team uh -huh. and he said this is my Mercedes Benz and is, is the core of the team is the Mercedes Benz <laughs> the other one that uh, if people are curious about is the adult movie guy <laughs> 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 who was that adult I was single, not married, whatever. It was me. I'll just take the blame. <laughs> there we go. We've got there confirmation we go. of it. I don't even know. Vicky, I, uh, I know we're going to play out with the song as well. Neil, actually, this is... Come blow it. Actually, oh, blow it. actually, this thing is heavy. This oh. is heavy. But let's do this. Neil, hey, oh, wow. let's just re-commemorate the moment one last time Yay. there as we say goodbye. Vicky, I think you'll give us a note or two there and uh, remind us of all that. There is the captain with the trophy. Shampoo shouldn't be there. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do it. Let's, yeah, let's, sing. With you. let's sing African Dream. Why not? African dream, yeah. I think we know the words a little bit. Let's have yes, it playing in the should. background. Let's yeah, play out Thomas, with it as loud, well. On huh? your side. Don't, don't sing too loud. Uh, <laughs> because, Thomas, just one more thing. You see the referee that was being kicked? Yeah. I know a player who was kicked like that, face and everything in Sierra Leone, somewhere there. Oh, <laughs> remember that game? Oh, it was Pont Noir. When, when he, came, the, when he oh, came back oh, looking oh, like he just fought with Baby Jake. The Pont Star. Got the, <laughs> <laughs> guys, I love the show. Thank you very much uh, to all of you for the memories that you brought to us. And thank you at home for watching. It's been 20 years. The trophy is with us. That's getting heavier and heavier. Neil is yeah, struggling to carry it. <laughs> oh. May I just say something, Thomas? Yes. I just want to say that for me, my dream has always been that song. Is It's still here 20 years down the line. I'm still here. This country is still here. It still exists because of the African dream. Yeah. Let us not forget about the African dream that is still more relevant today than it was in 1996. Mm. And I love this country. I love this continent. I believe in Africa. And we love South Africa and the job that yes. you guys Thank did. You. So let's play out with the song. Let's enjoy ourselves. South Africa, you did it 20 years ago. We will do it again. I know some of you think it will never happen, but it will. The talent we had then did it. The talent we have now and going forward will do it again. Again, it is our African dream to do it again. And if you're not watching Sport at 10, what, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't blown the candles. We can Come on, guys. Have you seen?